This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. And then he tases us. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This guy kind of looks like the Steel Samurai, don't you think? Maybe it's because they look alike that he was picked to be the Goodwill Ambassador? I suppose that's possible. Hmm. Take a look at this area around the base of his neck. It looks like a gap. Hey, you're right! Maybe it's meant to be some kind of secret? Perhaps it's possible to open the statue from this gap in its construction. What?! Hurry up and open it, Miles! Alright, here goes. Wow, it really did open up! Hey, what's this thing that fell out? Hmm? I believe a more thorough examination of it is required. Right now, because I'm sitting kind of far away, it just looks like, um, you know like... A Toblerone bar? <laughs> no, you know how when... Oh, who... Andy Warhol. Yeah, like yeah, makes, the, the Marilyn Monroe portraits. Yeah, where it's like different colors, yeah. but it's the same picture, it kind of looks like that. Or someone's like private, like, we got our cute photo booth photos together, but we don't want anyone to see. <gasps> what in the... Is this... What's that? Hey! Is this what I think it is? It's a plate! For making counterfeit bills! Oh. Somehow, it appears that we've at long last arrived at the exit to this complex labyrinth. We finally that. hold within our hands one of the counterfeit money plates. And the reason why the replica was smuggled into Alabas to begin with. Counterfeit plate data added. The primitive statue can only be handled by the ambassador or the secretariat. And the replica is nothing more than a hollow shell covered in gold. These two circumstances make the statue an ideal object in which to hide contraband. After receiving the statue containing the counterfeit plate from Shina, the ambassador had the misfortune of accidentally running into Damask 2. Surprised by the thief, the ambassador raised the replica statue at Damask 2 and... He's spry. Then in order to frame the steel samurai of the murder, he covered the st samurai sword in blood. Well, Ambassador Alba? Why are you so quiet, man? You're the leader of the smuggling ring. I love that. My but... country is a mess. And it's all because of you? You're the one who killed Damask too? Answer us. He's not gonna talk. I never thought, I never thought that you would figure things out to this level. Takes off his old man hair uh, and beard. He's just like a totally young looking hip guy. However, there is one point I disagree with you on. The head of the smuggling ring was... Mr. Cochin. Quit screwing around! I have no sympathy for someone who would try to pass the guilt onto a dead man. If there's one thing I'm sure of, it's that you're the real ring leader, Quercus Alba. It's not good to speak with such subjectivity, you know, Agent Lane. Subjectivity? My conclusion is anything but, and is the result of logic and investigation. Logic and investigation? Only seconds ago, you were ready to arrest Miss Von Karma! I don't think we can give such flip-floppity logic any real weight, do you? <laughs> it looks like you still don't get why I came back. Excuse me. Is he like an ex-smuggling ring You man? see, the reason I came back is so that I could sink my fangs into your wrinkly old neck. From the very beginning, my real target has been you. What is happening? What? Agent Lang, I demand an explanation. Sorry, sis. I didn't mean to put you through all that. I knew it. I knew he wasn't actually. I knew you were innocent from the very beginning. Nice. You did. I knew that this whole incident had been meticulously planned and prepared for. So naturally, the occupant of this room, Ambassador Alba, seemed the most suspicious. But without the ambassador's permission, we couldn't get in to take another look around. Ah, oh, so that's why you put on this big show to accuse Francesca of the murder. Using Francesca as the bait, you were able to gain us entry and investigative rights. Yep. Yeah, if I hadn't done that, I doubt the ambassador would have given the okay to poke around. So that's what all this was about. Very well, I will forgive you. I, I like Lane now. He's clever. I, I like him. Yeah. 
But in exchange for using me as bait, you will take some responsibility and help us find the truth. Agent Lane, for giving me such a great opening. I thank you. You know, I just knew Mr. Prosecutor. Also, he's going to treat her to Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, sick! 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 Everyone's the, favorite. The best. Not mine. Not mine. That somehow, if we were able to find like some Culver's. proof by investigating this room... Oh, I'll take you to Culver's, Francisca. Francisca's like, <laughs> I'm, she's like, I'm higher class than Taco Bell. He's like, oh, Culver's. Culver's. She's like, oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Anyone who hasn't been to Culver's, try to go sometime. It's... If I mean, it's, it's not the, it's not the best food ever. It is no. fast food, but it's it's good. It's fast a cut food. above Wendy's and McDonald's. And oh, it's it's definitely higher quality. Not not as good as Chick Fil A. Yeah, but but you can like, get burgers there. You can get burgers. They've got some really good fries. <laughs> if you're into custard, while they're good. confronting the smuggling, you're just like, you know, Culver's is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that's what no, that's what Gumshoe and K are doing on the side. Oh yeah, I just knew that somehow if we were able to find some proof by investigating this room. Then you would be able to figure out the real culprit with your special brand of logic. Heh. <laughs> the evidence detectives collect combined with the logic of a prosecutor. That's just as it should be in a prosecutor-detective team, right? <laughs> I don't know about all that. But one thing I do know is that I'm itching to see that old man get what's coming to him. Ho <laughs> ho, you're quite scary when you want to be, aren't you? Hey, you were the one who was planning to use me to push all the guilt onto the sis. But unfortunately for you, you misjudged me. I also I like how he calls Francisca sis, because they they both work together. Yeah. So they seem to have a good relationship. Not relationship, but you know. Mm, not that we know of. <laughs> I don't know. I Francisca, don't think I don't think anything's happening right now. Francisca seems like the girl who's like, I don't need no man for at least a while. <laughs> like she would be the person who's like I'm Until she finds a guy who can treat her to Culver's regular. <laughs> no. But seriously, like, what kind of guy would be good for her? Like, she's had this crazy father who has driven her to be such a perfectionistic person. And I don't know what her mom was like. And she's a Sundere, and, well, I don't know about you guys, but I do not like the Sundere archetype at all. I only do if it's justified, which is practically never. Natsuki's the she's, closest one who comes yeah, to that. But, and, and Francisca's closer because I can't even imagine what it must have been like growing up with Va Von Karma as your dad. Well, I gave you everything. I gave you a John Giovanni more when you couldn't drive. <laughs> yeah, literally. But, like, she, he's, like, the kind of person who I feel I like would drive, best her, Christmas presents. Who would drive her to do all of these things <laughs> at such a young age. I kind of have a friend like that a little bit, too. Von Karma's the guy you really hope he gets you as Secret Santa. He's like, I will give them the perfect gift. It will be the or, or he would be like, when I was a kid, we just got cold, so you got cold. <laughs> you got cold, Manfred, because you were a butt. And then for, like, Francisco, he's like, now nah, I couldn't find the coal that I actually wanted, so I got you a charcoal face mask. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing. Okay. Like, for the spa. Now you uh, can join me at the spa. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> it's, like, Fred, it's like, oh, what's this? You were my secret Santa. It's like a gift card for a free spa appointment. Yes! yes! Thank you! This is the best Christmas ever. <laughs> I want Manfred Von Karma the Christmas special. Oh my gosh. He's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> Agent Lane, I I wish you for you to stop trying to intimidate me. What we need right now is evidence and proof. I wonder if you have what it is necessary to prove that I am the head of the smuggling ring. Objection! Don't be such a sore loser! If you really are the head of the smuggling ring, then you should acknowledge your crimes with dignity. Dignity? That is nothing more than a fool's insincere display of strength. If you really wish for me to acknowledge my crimes, then I would like you to first see some of this thing you call evidence. Ugh. I tell you, I knew nothing, really. I didn't even know that a counterfeit plate was hidden inside that statue. Oh, right. You swapped a real statue that vested in your country the authority to rule for a fake. It doesn't make any sense that you didn't know anything. It doesn't make sense? Where doesn't it make sense? Can you prove that it doesn't make sense? Ugh. He's really got us. He's turned the entire situation around against us. He's good at that kind of thing. I want him to just open his eyes. The proof that Interpol has been after, which points to this man as the ringleader. If we can somehow find that proof now, then we can see to it that justice is finally served. Is there nothing I can use to break this case wide open? Referencing previous cases. 
the trump card in the videotape. With those two items, we might be able to finally bring this man down. But the card is evidence from a case that Mr. Faraday hid away in secret. And the tape was stolen by Detective Bad from the police. They're both illegal evidence. No matter what, a, pro a protector of the law can't be allowed to use such pieces of evidence. Needless to say, we Volcarmas are commanded to achieve nothing but victory! He's back! And by any means necessary! The only way to bring someone like that to justice was to do so outside of the courts. Well, it's outside of court! That's what we thought at the time. I no longer follow the path of Manfred von Karma, and I won't follow the path of the Autogarasu. This leaves me with what? What creed will I believe in? So is this in the midst of him coming back to eventually take on right again? Like, remember when he was like, oh, I'm gonna be in Europe, and then it's like, the man is Edgeworth chooses death, or blah blah blah? No, this takes place after Trials and Tribulations. This is like the fifth time I've said this. I know, but it would have made so much more sense if he's like, I'm a changed man, right? Because he's had like, five cases in two days. <laughs> That, that could have been an interesting way to do it as well, but that's not how it, they did it. If I want to pursue the truth, then I will sully my hands in illegality. And if I want to pursue justice, then I will lose the truth. What is the law and what is justice? And which path is a prosecutor supposed to follow? Man, remind me to put this in my list of monologues for auditions. That choice <laughs> is one I must make by my own hand here and now. Use oh! the trump card, don't is use the trump card. Is this another game with multiple endings? I actually don't know. I was always just like, yes, yes, use it, use Okay, it. let's try not using it then and seeing what happens. Game over. I am a prosecutor, and I can't allow myself to use evidence such as these. Mr. Edgeworth, if you don't do something, Ambassador Alba's going to get away with it. I know, but- Objection! What are you holding back for? The only thing a Von Karma should pursue is the perfect proof! And these aren't perfect proof? If you really do have what it takes to complete our argument, then there is absolutely no reason not to use it! <laughs> Lane Z says the reason people judge people is because people are people. People weren't born to be chained to the law. Laws were born to protect the people. You're the only one here right now who can put this guy out to pasture. And that is the only way a second or third generation of Zangfa's people will be born. He's like, I'm not gonna get married. Can you really still hesitate <laughs> knowing the fate of a nation rests in your hands? I. There is no limit to the law. Any limit that exists was set there by man. Oh, and this wraps around to choosing the trump card. Okay. When a person goes beyond that limit, then the law too crosses into new territory. For what reason were laws invented? The answer to that is what I must now show. Ambassador Alba, I wonder if you might recognize this. Oh, I wonder what that card is. I've never seen that before in my life. It's a directives card used by the leader of the ring to relay messages to his subordinates. Oh, how fun. Oh, is that what it is? This card was sent to the real culprit behind the KG-8 incident ten years ago. A man by the name of Mr. Manny Cochin. Oh, so why do you have such a card in your possession? Because it was hand-delivered to me by a certain great thief, the Yadagarasu. The Yadagarasu gave that to you? Don't talk nonsense and let's be serious, Mr. Edgeworth. Do you have any proof that the card contains directions from the ring leader? I'll have you know that the card is not the only thing I was given. What?! This contains security footage that was shot just before the start of the KG-8 incident. The KG-8 incident? The card in the video? These two pieces of evidence are what will seal your fate. Ho <laughs> ho! Very interesting. I must admit I am very curious now. Very curious indeed in these case-deciding pieces of evidence you've presented. The prey the Autogarasu has been chasing all this time now stands before me. I can't allow this man, who has the, had free reign for ten long years, to simply walk away. Now is the time for me to bring to fruition the valiant spirit that was given to me. March 15th, 1.34 a.m., Fiatrum Neutralis Man, Lobby. they had a long time talking. So what is this interesting thing that you wanted to show me? The trump card 
and the videotape. Oh, that ugly guy's there too. That's just the guard. He's uh, wearing a hat. Oh, I thought that was his head. And his no, hair. that's his hat. Oh, it's like the British Royal Guard. I thought he was just super ugly. Oh, Marty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought he looked like um a bit Fortula a little bit. I guess if you squint and look from far away, yeah, you can. Kind Some of, of it is I'm looking at the top screen and not the bottom one because the I feel top it's more obvious bigger. on the top one. Oh, These yeah, two no. pieces of evidence together make for the ultimate hand. And this is where the real meaning behind Detective Bad's words will be realized. Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir! Here's Manny Cochin. What you see here is security footage shot just before the KG-8 murder occurred. From this footage, we know that the card is a directives card from the smuggling ring. This is the section that proves that the card was used to relay an order. Oh, yeah. Let me lean forward. Um. Oh, because he's carrying it in his right hand. Pretty obvious, yeah. I couldn't see from far away. As you can see, Mr. Cochin is holding the card in his right hand. I see. The killer is indeed holding a card with the exact same design on it. But that card and the one you have, just because they look the same, doesn't mean that they are in the down, does it? Ah, oh, but there is very, a very easy way for me to prove that they are, in fact, one and the same. All we have to do is simply take a look at this. Yep. This dark red blood. Yes, this is your proof. Proof that the orders on this card were played out in that terrible tragedy. The blood belonged to the victim of the KG-8 incident. With a bit of DNA testing, we can very easily verify that as fact. If you have no objections, then I'd like for you to take a look at this next piece of footage. This car that passed by in front of the victim's apartment building. It's an official Kodopian government car. Isn't there someone in it? What? What? In the back seat? There is. Detective Gumshoe, if you could please magnify the footage. This area of the footage directly links the smuggling ring with Kodopia. With Kodopia. Here's the problem. <laughs> now that it's magnified, we can't see the flag that was on the front. Is it because of... Well, we know this is Kodopian, so what around here is linking to the smuggling ring. Um, is it the fact that he's carrying something and reading it in his hand? That looks like the letter? This? No, that thing. Where? Down. A little to the left. Up. See? That thing. What are you talking about? Oh, you... that thing. What is that? That's not a book. That's just part of the car. <laughs> I thought that was... What do you mean? They don't have... That's not a book. They don't have a lap bar. No, that, that, no that's his leg. That's his <laughs> leg. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were talking about the black part up here. I'm like, no, that's part of the car. I didn't realize he had his Yeah, that's his leg. Car. This section will make it all clear to us that he's crossing his legs like a girl. <laughs> you must be very tired, Mr. Edgeworth. If you continue presenting completely irrelevant evidence like this... I'm afraid your investigation may fall apart. Perhaps it is time for you to retire. W wait Ah, but I was so sure it was his leg. <laughs> oh, oh! Alright, focus, Miles. Is it the thing in his pocket? Is it the fiend in his pocket? <laughs> the shape of this pocket and the directive's card in it. Is that Mr. Stewart? That's Manny Cochin! From, okay, Mr. You Stewart was Interpol, not I know, the I know, but you can't see him from the neck up, and he has the same weird hair. A little bit. It it's not as not really. yeah, anyway. It tells us that without a doubt, this person in this car is Mr. Cochin. Yeah. The license plate on the car was also captured by the security camera. Ooh, nice! And with it, we can easily find out who was sitting in this car on that day ten years ago. Yeah. Which is why I can say with confidence that you were riding in this car on that day. Driving it? Ha! <laughs> Everyone loves to laugh! We love to laugh! Oh, oh, oh. He can stand tall. Oh my gosh. You've done well, boy, to make it this far. Wait, what is this? However. About your claim that I was riding in the car at that time. Wait, wait. That's going to be mighty difficult to prove. We have to talk about him for a moment. <laughs> Quercus Alba is evolving! <laughs> That's a meme yeah, from like, the game. Is it? 
<laughs> yeah. He looks like he hopped out of Frozen. A little also, bit. Also, this music. I think is, it's the color. This music is epic. I need to turn it up a bit. Oh yeah. He just sounds. Like also, he's not like. Up. Look at all the medals I've received. He has the worst beard. Just saying. And some of the and worst He opened hair. his eyes. He did open his eyes. I'm very happy. His green eyes. Also, um, yes, you could land a plane on that nose. <laughs> yep. How so? He's a Lego brick on his shoulder. Yes, he does. <laughs> Very classy. The Principality of Codopia no longer exists. So naturally, all records from that time period also no longer exist. <clears throat> that arrogance. What he really means is he has already erased all traces of them. He probably burned off his fingerprints, too. Are we finished here, boy? Uh-huh. He doesn't look as old now. No, he doesn't. But he does look like a hot 60-something years old. <laughs> Not that he is hot, I'm saying like... He's, he's 60 for sure. 60 he's 72. Something. Oh, wait, is he? He's 72. Is he in the pro I also volume? think his face has changed now. From, oh no, it's still the old man. <laughs> yeah, I'm Kamerikazoo. That, that definitely changes, though. The only weapon I have left to me now is this piece of footage. We're gonna have to chase him. There must be something here that I can use against him. Is it just the fact that there's another person in the front seat? Who, in in Japan, would not be driving. No, he wouldn't. It's just a game of, like, four people. And it's like, yo, this is we're gonna all pull up suspiciously. That's the one thing. We've had so many times where it's like, it's a car, but who's driving it? And it's like, well, but if this, is a, this is a Japanese game in the English version. Are they going to change that? Or not? They, ju they change it, it. They do change it, but this one, yeah, he's sitting. Cause that that screwed spot. you up for Mimi Miney's car, York. Yeah, but like, it, it, it's like the same side in Japan and Europe. I'm like, no, they, they changed that. I was like, oh. She got this sweet new European car. <laughs> Francisco, what do you think about this area? If you had to confer with someone, then it's pretty obviously a useless piece of logic. No. Ah, she's right. The only logic that can trap Ambassador Alba is a perfectly ironclad he one. He looks like he could be an Angelina Ballerina. If what? If he was a mouse. If he no? was a mouse, like, No. He, I don't know. You're maybe. just saying that because of the nose. No, no I'm not. I'm just saying it because I'm like, I want to see him as a Fire Emblem villain. Or like a villain in Sailor Moon. I am not familiar with Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon's pretty weird, but... Oh my gosh, his leg. It's the what? Oh, whoops. Wrong. Wha- What the? Ambassador Alba! Yes, what is it? He's always pushing his glasses up in the- you Is that the mirror thing? That's something reflected in the mirror. You were once an army man in the service of Codopia. And it was you who made the many missions you participated in successes, correct? Hrf! <laughs> Why the sudden backhanded praises, boy? Are there to be sure? The brilliant medals on my breast were awarded to me during the area of Codopia. Era, sorry. <laughs> but now I am the only one who owns this particular medal. In that case, the only person it could have been it was you sitting in the car. How do you figure that? Ooh. By the medal captured here in this footage, it is clearly the same exact medal as the one on your chest. Wha Whoa. Why is there suddenly black stuff on his face? It's like skin was chipping away. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like blackheads suddenly popping up due to stress. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was my brain. <laughs> this is how it will be, but I won't look back. For this is the path that I have chosen. <laughs> You've moved me with your devotion to this case, Mr. Edgeworth. Why is he taking such an arrogant stance with me? It's almost looking possible, isn't it? For the lot of you have come this far. It looks like I just might lose our little game this time. Till he pops a gun. You might lose this game this time. Pop goes the you don't get another round, Mr. Ambassador. Is that a fact? Very well. I've decided to confess and admit my guilt. You're going to confess? And I will accept whatever punishment that may come as a result. What the? Regarding the Damask 2 murder, I admit it. I did it out of self-defense. You're claiming it was justified self-defense? Damask 2 attacked me, and I felt that my life was in danger. If I hadn't done what I did, I might be the one who you found dead instead of him. <laughs> what a prophetic performance. <laughs> I'm not giving you one. 
Wow, you two really know how to laugh at inappropriate times. If you wish to claim it was justified self-defense, then we will need some evidence. It's always the evidence with you, isn't it? But if that's what you require, I'll provide it. You're, you are the one who's like, you need to evidence, you need to evidence. <laughs> He's gonna, like, give us some, uh... That man left a mark on me when he attacked. What? I don't particularly want to show it off. It's on his butt or something. <laughs> <laughs> he got that would be not be a T game. <laughs> that would be an M game. <laughs> no, it's like he got slapped. I don't know. Or maybe maybe it was... <laughs> he slapped my butt. I had to kill him. <laughs> I mean, it could be something stupid like that. It really could. Wow. Like, I don't know. What else would it be? Where else would it, he get hurt that he wouldn't want to show? Oh, my shoulder. I think he just doesn't want to show the wound. <laughs> oh my gosh, my shoulders. They're so scandalous. They must be covered up at all times. <laughs> but this is proof that it was in self-defense. I'm an old man, and sometimes I don't pay enough attention to when I should. I think he just, like, self-harmed, probably. Oof. Uh, well, no, like, to, to come up with an excuse for this. That's why- <laughs> Not with a knife! Well, maybe with a knife! It's a good thing I wait, have to take diabetes wait, 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 shots. Wait. Did he do blunt force trauma to kill Damascus? Damascus too, yeah. Maybe he was like, <laughs> With his own blood, because they didn't test the blood to make sure it was Damask 2's blood. Yeah, they did. They did? Yeah. Maybe the forensics guys were paid off by them. <laughs> Two twenties. <laughs> Two twenties. And then it's just his blood on the... <laughs> oh, I have to I have to speak. I just realized it's my turn. But Damask 2 didn't have a single weapon on his body. Stop. Hold on. It's nothing to get worked up over because I hid the weapon. You hid it? I'm sorry, but as you know, a murder is a murder, even if it is in self-defense. And I couldn't let it become public, seeing as how I am an ambassador. No, if anything, you should have- This is the weapon you seek? My special bonsai trimming shears. Uh, it's covered in blood. He was trembling quite badly during our struggle. But that's when he grabbed the shears that were sitting in my office and attacked. He doesn't have a plant with that. So you he? see, it was an act of self-defense. Is he right, Mr. Edgeworth? Since he has both a wound and the weapon that caused it, it's enough to declare it so. No. Amp Alba's wound did the draw the die. I don't want that in my journal. <laughs> Look at his creepy smile with it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's like Fire Emblem 7 when he takes off the turf and he's like, Pah! <laughs> No way. Oh, uh, which reminds me. I guess there is still one more accusation I need to resolve. Smuggling and counterfeiting. Unfortunately, all of that is my secretary's doing. I have no knowledge it was going on. Who's your secretary, bro? Mini coach. <laughs> he was both. He would be both, <laughs> which would be stupid. I basically. <laughs> this is like the Zac Efron me, where it's like, who's counterfeiting all this stuff? <laughs> He's turning the shoulder shrug, where it's like, Polino, Alba, Mini coach. <laughs> really? I will have to see that later. No, I, that's not a meme. That's oh, actually. you want to make it? Well, no, it's just like, you know, Zac Efron, like the meme where he's yeah. like shrugging. Like, <laughs> it's like that. Oh. Stop spewing nonsense. You're trying to throw my investigation under the bus in your desperation. If you want to get real honest, everything in this case can be connected to you. The murder of Damask 2 was done in self-defense. Whip him. <laughs> in my trials, no man escapes his crime alive. Perhaps so. If you were my opponent in court. However, there is one very important fact that I think you may have forgotten. And what is that? He's like, I'm a man of power. Ah! 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 That's what you mean. Extraterritoriality. What? That's right. The embassy sits on what is effectively Alabastian soil. So any trial that is to be held will be held in Alabast. Therefore, the crime I just admitted to will never be tried in your courts. Agent Lane, what is Interpol's stance on this? Agents investigate. That's our job. The judgment of people who have confessed to their crime. That's the court's job. Gah! Maybe we can drag Ambassador Alba to the ball and make- Drag him? <laughs> well, because he's not going to want to get off of his soil. This is like, um, it, it all goes back to capture the flag. 
there's your neutral territory zone. No man's land. And then there's like the individual thing, and the best way to get someone is to get them to cross to your side, tag them, and put them in your jail. <laughs> so it's like, hey, uh, Ambassador Alba, I heard there are free burgers in the box. Oh, oh boy! Oh boy! You're trespassing under arrest. <laughs> yeah. By the way, we're trying for the murder. <laughs> That's not how that works. I mean, kind of, yeah. And I've already confessed all my crimes, Agent Lane. No, you haven't. Furthermore, by the very nature of my position, I'll have full extraterritorial rights. These rights are effective even on your country's soil. Therefore... No matter where a crime may take place, I will never stand trial in one of your courts. Ugh. That arrogance in your expression. That's nothing like the face of someone who's ready to accept the consequences. Don't tell me you have your own country's judicial system eating right out of your hands. These crimes you all speak so seriously of. To me, this has all been nothing more than a game. It is a game. It's called a <laughs> Miles Edgeworth's Attorney Investigations with Quercus Alba. <laughs> That you may chase me out of this embassy with your accusations, but it's no big deal. Alabas has numerous other embassies in other countries around the world. All you would accomplish is you would change the backdrop of our little game. These two layers of protection that extraterritoriality provides him. This is why he is one of those who cannot be brought to court. Yeah, that's fine. You see now, don't you? I live in a whole different world than you. The game ends with us just like killing him in secret, and then we make another. <laughs> we make another. Um, and that's what the second game is about: you escaping from the law. <laughs> no, we make another. That's why it wasn't in Nepal. It was not in Nepal. <laughs> sure, you make another Yadagarasu troop, and then this chick uh, K comes back, and then Von Karma has nothing to do with it. She's because she's like, I'm the protector of law. Man. Whatever, and then you're all on the run. So it's it's Edgeworth, K, and Lane. <laughs> yeah. Yadagarasu, you think? Yep, the new Yadagarasu. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and fetch your fetch your eviction papers. <laughs> He's not hunched I over anymore. I love how his guards just like normal day at the embassy, guys. <laughs> he ripped his staff to pieces again. We'll have to get him another one. Uh, Poor what? Master Ugwe and his staff. He stole it from the real Ugwe. <laughs> ah, is there nothing we can do? No, there's not. That's the end of the game. No. <laughs> it's to be continued. I, there, I think there's still more! Like, two more parts. I, I think there's end... That was end part one. I think there's still end part two and end part three. Yeah, we end up chasing him into jail, and then before he gets admitted for the courts... Because like... this, this is where the game really drags on. Because it's like, we all know Alba did it, and it takes, like, five hours to bring him down. <laughs> He's just not a very cool mm, villain. He's kind of... He's just like, I have a nose, and I'm arrogant, and flash my medals in your face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next... No, I did want to save. I oh, did crap. want to save. Oh, crap, okay. No, that's fine. It's March 15, 211, Theatrum Neutrals Lobby. I will save right now. <laughs> <laughs> there. Nobody needs to know about that. Anyhow. It was 2 a.m. We need... It's Ooh. not 2 a.m. It oh, it was for them, not for, them. for us. Tune out. in next time. We'll, um, I don't really know what we'll do. We'll probably cross-examine Alba for, like, five hours. <laughs> five hours? It takes hours to bring him down. No, it's it gonna be, like, an embassy where you have to, like, or when you go to the Secretary of State and you have to, like, wait in a line forever and, like, you pass the time by watching weird ads and then they're like, number 55... And then yeah. you, go, you go up and they're like, you want your picture taken for your new driver's license. Stand in front of the blue Stand wall. Stand in front of the blue wall. And then they take the worst picture of you imaginable. The, my driver's license photo was so bad because I had to go there at the end of a really long day of work. And, yeah. I, and like, it was really all night. And they're like, just like, is this driver's license good? I'm like, I look like a terrible, I look just like, eh. <laughs> I'm like really tired. But I'm like, it's not going to get better. And I'm just done. So yeah. yeah. Anyhow. Oh yeah. One thing I want to ask you. Do you think uh, Polino is still involved with this in some way? Yeah. <laughs> do you he's think either, they're in cahoots? He's either going to bring down the justice or he's going to, like, heighten the stakes. Because we went we went from, like, Sheena's about to kill Kay and then this guy's about to kill Sheena and then Lane jumps in front of her. Ooh! <laughs> like, it's such high stakes and then all of it's like... And then it's like, eh. this guy's got medals and says he didn't do it. <laughs> right, like, it went all the way... It's like we went back to square one, essentially, because we basically finished the first part of the case and then we're on the second part of the case. But I think Helena's still going to be involved and he'll be like, oh, I totally know someone was making fun of the building. And I just look the other way. And I just look the other way. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.